Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make easy chicken curry that can be ready in your table less than 30 minutes and we only use one pan. So it's super easy and delicious. Without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start by heating two tablespoons of oil in a large frying pan over a medium to high heat. We're gonna add chicken breast to the pan, cook for five minutes, turning occasionally until sealed. We're going to add minced ginger, and next we're gonna add onion to the pan and three cloves of minced garlic. Now we're going to layer up the flavors of this curry with some spices. A tablespoon of ground coriander, a teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of paprika, stir together. Next, we're going to add 2 tablespoons of yellow curry paste. I bought this from local grocery store in Zurich and this is mild, not spicy. Stir together and cook about 5 minutes. We're gonna add 2 small lemongrass. It gives the dish a lovely, mild, unique citrusy flavor and most grocery stores have this one. You have to smash them before you add it into the pan. 3 kefir lime leaves. We use kefir lime leaves and lemongrass a lot in Indonesia. 150 ml of chopped tomatoes and stir all together. We're gonna add a half till 1 teaspoon of salt. We're going to add 500 ml of full-fat coconut milk. Give a mix and we're gonna add bamboo shoots. A cup of jackfruit, I bought this in the can. Jackfruit contains rich of antioxidants, which may help to lower inflammation and promote balanced blood sugar levels. Jackfruit is quite healthy. It provides a moderate amount of calories in addition to a lot of fiber, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. Next, we're going to add a cup of water along with a teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder. Bring that to a gentle bubble and then simmer gently, stirring occasionally for 8 till 10 minutes. If you'd like it to be a little bit of thicker, you can stir it to tablespoons of corn flour along with two tablespoons of cold water mixed together. This is optional, you can leave it out if the thickness is to your liking. Once the chicken is cooked through, we want to stir in about half till one cup of snow peas, a cup of green peas, and half teaspoon of black pepper. Make sure we let it sit and simmer at low temperature for a little while. It lets all the flavors and spices melt and mix together so nicely. You're gonna want to serve this while it's hot along with some rice. And for garnish, we're topping it with some scallions and fresh parsley. We love curry so much. It's so delicious, easy peasy and comforting dish. The chicken is super tender and the bamboo shoots and snow peas has a nice crunch. It's really delicious. So 
So thank you all for watching this video. I hope that you like it. If you like it, please support me by giving a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. God bless.